he peels pretty much 24-7 on Busan versus uh, Vancouver. And he does that because Vancouver is playing Winston Coates and they all just hard engage onto uh, Violet, if he doesn't. So yeah, this is not the first fight. He's always in, just watch how he's always in range of uh, Violet. And just watch how he's ready to beat for his teammates, even though he might not see the teammates, he knows where they are. And he always has full line of sight. He plays for the corners when he doesn't play on walls. And then he's, you know, making it very difficult for Bumper to engage onto Violet because he boops him in the air, boops him on the ground, etc. And yeah, I'll just let this speak for itself. Striker on his approach a lot easier. Yeah, it's becoming a bit more of a group effort. Lobbing in those right clicks from Salminsu as well to just force him out of these windows. John is going to be done with the bomb, looking for that pickoff. Not going to be able to... Everyone's safe, including, uh, including, uh, Muff here. They can't remax. Smurf is able to come up with a kill. Striker off screen going to be... So it doesn't go too far. Bumper. Comes up with that kill. Kills Bumper right -click. in range of Violet. Pile driver in, pops him up into the air. And then he plays the corners. Smurf, not willing to go that far forward. Doesn't have the adaptive shield. Now starts pushing up as he gets pushed over half HP. Twilight... It's not that flashy, but he's very, how to say, he's like a shield. He's like a shield that doesn't, it's not like Ryan shield, but he, he's like, um, I don't know, like he's like a bouncer. He's like a bouncer. Approaching that OT for the Vancouver Titans. As they wait for that honor to rejoin, Violet's going to be using the transcendence as they try to get the flip coming back. And he doesn't go for the Reddit mode either. He just, you know, stops. He stops Slime. He stops Bumper. He stops everyone. And yeah, he, does, he doesn't shine very much on Cough. And I think that's because they don't have these set plays. So he's more playing to his natural, natural playstyle, which is um, playing in the back with the support. Obviously, he has to play with the support because of the Winston. And there's nothing else he can, you know, no one else he can play with in the triple DPS comp. Uh, double DPS, I mean, 2-2-2, two, 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 because Hammond did Diva. So yeah, it just does its job really well. If we don't then go for King's Row, let's see where first fight on King's Row. Let's see. Okay. So Moff, he climbs onto the statue, then he goes for wall right onto hotel. He goes on the outside of the hotel and he wants to do that in order to boop Bumper. And he boops Bumper backwards while the rest of his team is backing towards off statue. And they do that because they end up taking too much damage. And it seems like it was a set play because Shock didn't expect to be countered because Vancouver had a free engage onto them right right after. Like this is when Bumper ends up charging. However, Mr. Moff here, he ends up booping Bumper behind the wall and secures the kill that way. We're gonna do a live! Architect pushing out with the break. Fire strike to the face, Summon Sue says. Also, you can see that it's a set play because of how he is one one dimensionally focusing on on his job right now. Thank you very much. Who knows what the comms are because we we can't know the comms. So I'm assuming that the focus seems like he's just trying to carry out his current task as uh, well as he can. And the ideal boop would be would have been if. He can boot bumper forward, but everyone else backed uh, backed off, so that's why he didn't boot forward. Hard in the paint right now, up towards that point. A... Now they have a free engage. A little bit too much damage. That's gonna cause him to kite back. Bum then bumper gets uh, booped Behind the and killed. And bump he tries to charge, but uh, he gets counter charged and then focused down. No one else in his team can save him. 
He's way out in no man's land. Gets locked up by the counter charge. And that's just a very good punish by by Shock, but uh, like in spe specifically Muff. Second fight. Now, after the well, let me just get the timestamp correct here. So they cap the first point, they push the spawns. Now Muff he's gonna set up for a boot play. Almost every counter. Just watch how he climbs. But it's the time bank that's the bigger concern as well as San Francisco Shock's positional advantage because they're able to play so far forward here. I'm gonna do, do you see this position? He has full vision. He sees exactly where the enemies are. He sees slime here as well. But you know, they, they see him and the play here is to try and boop bumper forward. However, because he misses a wall jump on, I think the corner is right here. He misses a wall jump and he loses the momentum. It's kind of lucky but unlucky. The bad part is he misses the momentum, he can't go for boot play. But the good part is he doesn't get sucked into a graph because Vancouver, they expected something to happen. They bait a sh shock into a graph and try to punish them. And afterwards, tries to play for strong line of sight, and he's just always ready to peel for Violet. And he just gives R R's to everyone, however Violet dies, and we'll, we'll, we'll get to that real soon. The next attack is going to be pretty ill And you, you could see like how he wanted to, uh, to go uh, on, the, on the corner there. Well, they're just going for it here. Grab down search will come out. Locks up San Francisco Shock. Violet pops the transcendence to keep everybody alive. Countering grab coming through. Twilight with the transcendence of his own. They go in for that shatter bomb. So yeah, nothing happened. They disengage. Now he simply plays the corners, tries to give aura. He he stays on speed for, for a bit too much. And Violet dies because of that, because Violet ends up taking a couple of right clicks from Siomisu. And then they just have to fall back completely. Combo, not gonna be able to find it. Transcendence that's a little bit longer. Shatter straight into the shield of Super, however. Bumper not gonna be able to find anything. The so yeah, watch Violet's health. Getting closer and closer to B. But still well over. He's taking a lot of damage. Remaining on the clock. Nobody dying is a huge win here for the Vancouver Titans, at least in the initial pop. Now he switches right to speed, and we do have some, and he remains on speed. With nearly another grab, and he's got the energy. This time he started with zero burst. He forgets to switch to healing aura, and Violet dies because of it. What can you do? What can you do? One hundred. Oh, and actually, high energy. So yeah, that's that's a fight lost there as well. I think that's a simple mistake they did versus Vancouver. Second fight. Let's see here. Remember this is on still for second point. Just watch how close he is on the timing with the beat when uh, there's an enemy diva bomb. And by timing, I mean when you release when when you activate the beat, you want as much uh, um, you want to time it as close to a diva bomb explosion just because the decay of the health like the shield goes down and he's very good at per like finding that uh, timing Remember, he started this fight with zero energy in a grab so i'm gonna mute this just because i'm gonna play it at low speed grab is gonna come out soon Now there's a grab, Eva bomb coming. They trance this as well. Before, after the trance, the Eva bomb comes, and yeah, watch this. Beat right before the explosion. That's very close. However, the Eva bomb, bomb still kills um, architect. That's a different story. 
even though it kill it kills architect, it's a really you know it's a really good effort, really good effort, and good uh, muscle memory by him. Third point. Now this is third point first fight. Let's see the they just kept. Okay, so they just kept here. The Titans What's gonna happen is Moff sees Vancouver walking up between the first corner and the second corner. So here's the first corner and then the second corner here. And then you have the wall. And then you have pit here. So enemies are standing somewhere here. He sees this and he goes for a boot play into pit. But watch how he plays for the line of sight. They're trying to get extra ults, and Moth says, "No, I'm coming in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scoop you up. I'm gonna get more ult charge." Also, he sets up for strong boop with Diva Bomb, for our team, and, I'm gonna get and he stops slime from booping. He's been doing it all stage one long, and it really shows here in this particular matchup. Yeah, look at fantastic for him. Maybe this is it. Maybe looking for a boop into the pit here. If Vancouver comes up a bit closer, what's his way? It's a nice try, but it helps with the diva bomb setup, because now you can you can stun the the tanks, you can push them, you can boop them, you can pin them, whatever. In the back, tries to find the shot, not gonna be able to get it. And then there's slime here that he tries to stop as well. So he body blocks for slime and tries to kill him. Hounds him down, now pins them all under the wall with the grabs on surge. And that goes for Kart. He does everything. You know, he does the full full range of uh, Lucio um, Lucio duties. Third point. Second fight goes for another uh, boop kill, and this time he ends up he ends up killing Violet. No, Twilight. I mean, I think I messed up the yeah, yeah I messed up the timestamp. Let's go Let's see here. See timestamp right here. Okay. There are several cautionary tales about getting too hyped about time banks when you talk about old efficiency here. Vancouver Titans swimming in it with double support ultimates online here. Bumper still holding the shatter, and they've got this choke. So he's gonna now. end up booping uh, Twilight into pit, and it's you know just a uh, just a nice play by uh, Lucia. It was the fight before, I think. Thing that could have been missing right for an easy pivot. Let's see. I think I'm. Yeah, I messed up the timestamp. Okay, fight after here. This is where I meant. Point B fight right here. A lot of ultimates on either side. Grabs on surge, opening things up first. Bomb straight in on top of their heads from. Timing on the bomb. Check it. So good. Imagine that you are playing a Zen. If you like, okay, I'm go I'm gonna I'm gonna use trans with uh, the rally here because they used both used both support ults on the enemy team. We have a beat. Uh, they don't have a grab anymore, and yeah, we can just have a nice time. We can clean up the fight. And then I get booped. Get booped. Easy kill. That's a nice boop. For the last fight, here on third point, he seems extremely calm and collected. He's very calm and collected. It's about to be. Um, it's about to be uh, become messy. Like he, he's ready to peel. He's aware of the bombs. He uh, sees enemies flanking, he beats for the bombs, he rotates with the teams, shift fo shifts his focus very swiftly. And that's a very hard thing to do as a player in general. You know, not get tunnel visioned or you like are like aware of everything at the, mo at the same time. He 
he beats a bit too early on the enemy diva bomb, but no one dies in any case. And then he stays alive through a grab, he doesn't get any support ults, and he ends up securing multiple kills. Suddenly, Shock will struggle to finish this point. Now under a minute. Or before it was four plus. John who tagged up a little bit, just gonna be feeding over some more old charge for slime, especially who's waiting on that next sound it's barrier. So critical. Very neck and neck right now between the supports on either Super. side. Rally's gonna be out from Hawks. You see how just you know stays in sync like with everything. Things off architect nearing his own ult. Before some then he's ready to help uh Sinatra as well. The rally comes through. And I think that's because of good comms. Immediately. As soon as they're able to have it, someone's trying to build up, trying to... He tries to go for a boop. So you see, he goes from peeling to making plays to helping, etc. Farming beat. Will beat him there. Chatter comes in, manages to find someone to the bomb going to be dropped and then try to protect them. Not going to find it. A bit too early with the bomb explosion, but it's totally fine. Now out from Trey Hilton, looking for the pick and he's going to get bumper. Transcendence. Then he gets sucked into a grab here. Now expired from Twilight and tries to stay alive. And he stays, uh, oh yeah. He gets a support ult actually, he does. No wait, he doesn't, he doesn't. They want the overtime barrier. Locking them up. Still neck and neck. Twilight gonna be taken down. Sinatra gonna be finding the kill now. So He's so close to dying. Minsu gonna be joining him. John is going lower and lower in the back bumper just now getting ready to rejoin. He's got the shatter ready to go. But can he lock anybody down? It seems like the answer is gonna be no. They put him back into another Boom. Now, if you go for the defense. First fight on defense. It's not that important. I want to look at the second fight. He's going to play on the statue here. He's going to climb climb the statue and just boop Vancouver so that the, he splits the front line and back line. Then he's also going to kill Slime, but he, he didn't aim to kill uh, Slime. But yeah, what Shock does after, they just aggro in, kill more people, and that's uh, how they win one fight and build ults really quickly. Really tough as the Titans look at the sleep dart. So here's the thing with if you're playing Lucio and you sit on the on the statue, you can decide to either drop on this side and boop a run not in, or you can go on the wall here, play it a bit safer and boop several people in if they seem to walk in. You can also boop enemies backwards. Set up. Yeah, gonna be looking for it. And he, yeah, kills Slime, oops, Bumper, into the back. just just in general, like a really strong play. And they also do this because of um, Architect, I think it's a set nade that they have. A couple members in Slime, gonna be the first casualty. And San Francisco, so they move in, there. They're looking for more. kill people. And then I want to go for a fight on second point. They're gonna lose first point here after. They put so they win a fight on second point. And now they wanna set up for spawn camping. Moff he uses a beat, then he farms the beat. He farms beat again in the following fight, and then he uses beat again. So he gets beat in basically one fight. Just wanna showcase like how quickly he farms the beat here. And it's not that he brags out only, like he he heals a lot, he amp heals, uh, passive heals, shoots heads, click heads, I mean, and uh, just playing very efficient. Push forward back towards the spawn. It just feels like San Francisco Shock have such a good understanding of this map. It's Moth's territory here through the streets phase. He's cutting the team in half. During A, Architect Ana controls Bionades. Now they can control this choke, the obvious approach angle for the Titans. With a massive energy. So here comes the beat. Sinatra, right here. I want to show you something that here as well. So you see that he goes around the corner when he beats. Right here. This is so that he doesn't get stunned or, you know, doesn't get CC'd. And, you know, you would think, okay, he's, he's line of sighting. Like, people are not going to get beat, right? They will because the sound waves uh, move up. How do you say? There's like these sound waves that follow Lucio. So everyone still gets beat and he can beat safely. Right here into the staircase. We're 
gonna be hitting the ground as the shatters. They might not win the fight. That's a different story though. So far no one's gonna be taken down. So now they lose the beat, they disengage. And they will set up set up for a grab here. They don't have the grab though. But nobody dies. Well, this is a advantage now. Vancouver end up taking a lot of damage and he retreat. Now Sinatra, he has the uh, the grab. Watch how much old charge Moff has now. He has 18%, not that much. Energy, but but it's gonna spike. To go. And he's, he's invincible in here. Grab online, sees the Somehow. Come out, it right onto the corner, now has to he sits in a corner. Like a and he's wall riding so that he doesn't get shattered. That's really important here. Let me see if I can show it. See, I think this is when the shatter comes down. That's from uh, Super though. Bumper does one as well. But yeah. He's 61% now. Five seconds ago he was. 26%. You see this uh, difference? It's huge. That's what amp heals on five people do, does to you. And if you find yourself as a Lucia player in tight, um, well, in narrow hallways like these, just just keep old writing on, on the walls and stuff, you know, just like this so that you don't you don't wall right only, you jump between the walls so that you don't go forward. So that but you wanna do it so you don't get stuck by chatters. Suddenly he's 85% to uh, 95 I mean to a to a new beat. What can you do with shock now? Well you can spawn camp again. Spawn camping them. This happens very commonly on this map in this meta, especially when you're running on it. This And you would imagine that there's no way Moff has another beat, right? Because beat is so slow to farm. But he does. Unlike when they face the fuel in this exact same scenario. Grabs out. Yeah, grab this time from some And then because of the Diva Bomb, he uses beat. I don't think the beat would have saved um, Architect and Sinatra, but um, he, you know, it's kind of hard to see what's happening here. You know, bubbles, shields, etc. So it's better to use the beat than to be sorry. Better to be safe than sorry. Then let's go for 117 in game timer. Moff is consistently dodging damage here as well. He's putting out damage too, and he's farming beat. He's so good at farming beat and he peels for his teammates by denying Rhea. No, not Rhea, I mean Ejanu, a boop with uh, his boosters. Let's, uh, let's see how it plays out here. Nothing, right? As they back away from the fight as well, it naturally will decay. But we're going to go around this corner. He doesn't have a grab. It would be nice if he did because Violet's still so far away from a trance. So, Shock, they don't want to play on the corner here. They want Vancouver to engage into them. And they, you know, they, they got a farm ult, so that's why. It's also very unfortunate positioning if they would engage without ults. Even with ults, I mean. Watch this fire strike. Like, it's very small. You know, it's negligible. But he doesn't take damage. Very good dodging. Just gently glide the cart into B, but San Francisco Shock are not going to allow that to happen. They are going to be contesting this one. So Hilbin pushes. Okay, so if Super for some reason wouldn't block the shatter, he's not going to get shattered because he's in there. Then he stops. Choyobin here. No, not Choyobin, I mean Jono. Let's see if I can find the frame. So 
So John and Bumper want to try and move in here. Get Boop back. And it's just ready, you know, to, to uh, tell the enemies to back off. Now, if we would go for um, the next round when Shock attacks again. This is the last clip for um, King's Row. Moff goes for another boop. And he's gonna go for the same same boop type of boop here. I think this is now you see that this is a set play. He um, he goes for a boop in arch. Super is discorded, and bubble is used on him. And um, because of that, plus a timing uh, delay, the boop doesn't work out. Moff sees a bubble on bumper, and because of the bubble, Moff has to, you know, delay his boop. And Shock, they probably didn't adapt it. Like, they didn't really think what Vancouver can do to counter that. So they applied bubble too early, and ended up, end up getting pushed back, basically. And this is the downside of set plays. You can memorize exactly how you want to execute it, as much as you want to. But if you have a team that's really good at solving, you know, problem solving on the fly, for example, Vancouver, or just random stuff that might happen. A bubble, a simple bubble can ruin everything for you. Well, they notice also, they notice Moff up here, they know that he's going to go for boot play. And when he speeds here, boop. A bubble applied, well. that's all you need. Sinatra low. Super discorded. Even if they want to fight, they can't. And that's it for King's Row here. I'm gonna go for Volskaya. Same thing when they played, uh, not same thing, but when they played against the um, Titans. So Moff, he keeps trying for the boot plays, and I think this boot play is an on-the-fly play because he waits for the rotation from Vancouver, then he tries to um, you know sneak his way behind the shield. He sees that Bumper disengages or Vancouver disengages, and he then adapts his route so that he can boop an enemy away and disengage. The damage, the good bubble management. And then we see this reset come through. Trance is up in just a moment here for Twilight. So it's gonna come is just gonna continue real soon. This high ground. Fire strike gonna be going wide. Shatter up for super. Gonna be looking for the So now he's going for the boop. Because if Bumper stays or tries to engage, he can boop them in. And shocked up. I feel like they are trying to bait with um the front line so that Moff can go in, but Vancouver has already figured this out because Slime is ready to counter boop. It's gonna be out from at he escapes though. Anyways, they backed out. The start. They tried to uh, disengage here, back. and I just want to show a similar similar type of setup that he does versus uh, Hangzhou. And. No, uh, yeah, versus Spark. And because Spark is a much easier opponent to, to do these plays against, like they are not as coordinated, they don't scout as much, they don't know all the habits. You know, they get away with this stuff. So he's setting up here, Reddit Lucio. Basically Batman. And he's looking down, ready to boop. This is where he, you know, this is set. But he's waiting in order to um, see if he should commit, or should not commit. Spark, they're down to their last 10, 12 seconds remaining. Also, it's the last last fight. Just to take point A, they might get Phil held again. And no one scouts him. High, as you'd find be oftentimes. And the boop. Shatter. Sending the Reinhardt big. Away. Oh, and that opened up a bigger shatter. Joyobin throws in the self destruct as well. Brutal. Just want to show again. 
Let's play this in uh, two times speed. See how it looks like. Pretty quick, nice. Nothing special. So yeah, I uh, want to show when shock attacks uh, first point here. Shock were about to get full held on Volskaya first point, by the way. The reason they didn't get full held was because Bumper accidentally um, charged off the map. Off the map, he was um, he was trying to um, clip into a wall with a charge, and that's why he um, that's why he yeah charged off by accident. So Shock, they have been losing fights after fight, fight after fight, and now Vancouver sends out the Diva Bomb. Moth is about to beat for the Diva Bomb, but then you have Slime. Slime, he's a bit stronger than um, Moth, I'd say. Like, he's the stronger Lucio. And he goes for Counter Boop on Moth. Because he knows that Moth is waiting with his beat. Like, to the very last second. So he's gonna boop him upwards so that he doesn't get activated. You know, make uh, let's see. Also gonna remove command. There we go. To the six v five fight, but when Sinatra and friends go down, when Summon Sue gets that opening kill on the high ground, it just doesn't matter. Bumper totally irrelevant in this fight. So you boop down people from high ground. That's standard. Trying to find a pick off. Not gonna be able to get it. Sound barriers in from Slime, keeping everyone topped up now. Violet with the transcendent Twilight. Watch his positioning. He's very far out, but so is Slime. Right. Halfway to the next one. Bumper. I'd love to have that online now. Bumper's still going to be holding on to this earth shell. There's the bomb. Slime went this route. I don't think he's keeping track of Slime. He's missing this. Then he travels like this. And boops upwards. Gonna mute this. Play this in a bit. Slower pace. Slime coming in here. And he just barely, barely makes the boop happen. That's a big kill. So yeah, after, afterwards. Um... Yeah, they um, bumper ends up charging off the map and they end up capping here. Nothing special. I want to show you second point here though. This is the last clip as well of Moth. You guys remember the bumper charge where bumper went like... He basically did a curved pin on Violet. Guess who was responsible for that? Mr. Moth here. He was responsible for it. And I'll show you exactly what happens. So when attacking first point, uh, second point after capping, Sinatra gets a really good grab on um, Bumper. Moth, he goes in behind the shield in order to do damage. And I think he wants to set up a boop in order so that they can shatter. And Bumper starts charging after, after the grab. Moth then boops without realizing that Violet is right in front of him and and um, Bumper also gets some, uh, how do you say, altitude, not altitude, but like he gets some height. And um, he pins into Violet, he makes this crazy turn, and that's the reason for why Vancouver wins Vancouver second point, uh, Volska second point alone. And soon Sinatra with energy advantage and a... So first we're gonna play it at normal speed, then I'll show you it slower speed. Grab. Scary times here for the former runaway squad. John are gonna have to try to get another one of these grabs away from Sinatra. If he can do that, could be huge. Bumper taking a lot of damage here on the front line. Grab on surge gonna be thrown in, locks him up. Twilight with a transcendence ready to go. Looking for a pin. Manage there it is. Thrown in, <laughs> locks him up. Twilight with a transcendence ready to go. He's just like yoink, taking uh, taking uh, Violet with him. So if we go back here and see what happens. Go. Let me see if I can get the right frame. Uh, 
Let's do 0 0.5. Nah, that's way too fast. Okay. So Super, he still doesn't have his Shatter. But Bumper, he starts charging. Now let's do 0.25. Boop comes in. Architect also boops him. Architect stuns him, or tries to stun, stun him, but because uh, Bumper is uh, bubbled, he just moves more to the side. And... Oh, I, I know I can go frame by frame. I, I just feel like it's more uh, fluid. When showing like, oh, well, I can do it frame by frame. So yeah. Architect, he pushes him to the side. And Moth, he pushes him upwards. And Bumper is like, I have no control of this, but I'll take it. I'll take it. And Violet... Um, this is his first match. This is how you say welcome to the league. There he uh, sucks in uh, Violet. And he's out. And everyone is just wondering what's happening. I'm gonna show you what the casters even say. A pin, manages to get one. Oh wow, that was a really weird angle, but gets moved over to the side. Violet gonna be taken down, now Bumper follows up for the double kill. So yeah, they end up losing uh, the ult economy here. They just fight over fight. And uh, yeah, Vancouver never give them back the the opening to, to win. And that's it. I feel like, uh, I feel like Moth, he's very strong on Lucia, but He's, how do you say it, it's not like he's very aggressive in his nature, he's more, he mo he's more like defensive and very, he doesn't play passive, you know, in the sense that he doesn't do anything and he's a bot. It's more like he's very reactive and he's never letting his guard down, but he's also, you know, doing his job and, and all that, but he's not like a slime, you know, who clutches on Lucio. These boops are probably practiced, set plays, and I feel like he autopilots when going for them sometimes, and that's why they get messed up. And San Francisco, they, they just don't have any way of recovering if Vancouver is just better at adapting, you know, not adapting, but problem solving. So yeah, that's it.